Be seated briefly. Now, I, I like to present to you a few things that will help you this year. There are three things. I know I called you here to bless you, but there are three things that will be present in your life. Take your Bible, take your pen. Take your Bible, take your pen. One of the greatest gifts of God in all of the Bible and in all of God's plan is what they call the spirit of the fear of God. What do I call it? Please take note of what I'm saying to you today. God does not do much nor bother himself with men and women who lack what is called the spirit of the fear of God. The second thing I know is that when God sees men and women that have what we call the spirit of the fear of God, he can go extra mile to fight their battle. Are we here? Now, the spirit of the fear of God is one of the fruits of the spirit. One of the nine fruits of the spirit. So it is a character of God, okay? And then it's supposed to be a character of the people of God. The fear of God. The Bible says, to depart from evil is the beginning of the fear of God. To depart from evil. It also means to depart from ungodliness. To depart from ungodliness. To withdraw from corruptive association is the fear, the beginning of the fear of God. I remember a few Wednesdays ago, reading Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10, I, I told you in this house, I said, the Bible says, My son, when sinners entice you, do what? Consent there not. Consent there not. It's not a sin to say no to what to a conscience says is wrong. Are we here? I remember a young girl looking for a job, and they met this man who was well positioned, who was old enough to be the father. And they pleaded with the man, can you please give me this job? I'm qualified for the job. God will bless you. My father and my mother will pray for you. Say, so, well, there's no doubt that you qualify, but you have to pay my price. He reminded this girl, I must sleep with you before I can give you the job. Now, if you're in the position of that girl, because you're desperate for the job, will you allow the man to sleep with you? Sometime at the beat of desperation, you will just say, see, not just once. But that can be the end of all God's plan for your life. The man could have sickness. Is that correct? The man could be in court just looking for something from you to renew his life. The man might kill you when he asks you to come and meet him. And the lady says, I have made a vow with my body that no man shall have a knowledge of me except my husband on my wedding day sir i am looking for job and that's this my problem if you are in a position to give it to me give it to me if you cannot give it to me no no problem and they left the man said you can't have it five years later 
the man was looking for a contract to sustain his company and he entered into an organization to apply and the director to manage the contract was a lady and the lady received the letter and her spirit connected to that field this was the man that wanted to destroy me and they sent for the man to come the man came he said do you remember me he said no i've never met you say you've met me you remember so so time so so time i was the lady you refuse a job because i refuse you access to my body the man knelt down started begging the lady the lady said no problem if you are qualified for this job you will have it you are five contractors unfortunately the man did not qualify you see when you have the wrong mindset you can't go too far even when you appear qualified god can disqualify you i got to know about that story whatever you do today because a seeds tomorrow are we here he that knows how to do good and refuse to do it when it's within his power the bible said to him it is a sin when god has given you knowledge and you refuse to act on the knowledge to you it shall become foolishness joseph was abused by his family joseph was attacked by his family after a while he was persecuted by his um, boss's wife before he knew it he found himself in the prison joseph why he had a dream where he became a solution to his family and to his world and the devil saw that joseph was going to be a solution to his family and the devil began to pursue after joseph the joseph was in deep fellowship with god the persecution could not stop him from praying the trial could not stop him from doing good he was not cursing anyone because things were rough for him are we here he was still calling potiphar's wife my madam come on are we here my what he was still calling potiphar my master the fear of god helps you to remain who you are in the face of all trials of life do i have a witness nothing is allowed to change your content or your value young man sit down sit down now and take your pen praise god the bible says at the end of the day all those that persecuted joseph including potiphar including potiphar's wife are we here came under his authority and the brothers came say out honestly we intended it for evil but now that our father had died please forgive us if you were joseph what will you do will you pay back naturally they will be attempt to pay back it's my turn now that it's my turn i will show you but look at what joseph said you intended it for evil but god turned it around for my good so that i can be who i am today men that is riding and driving their destiny by the spirit of god are unstoppable go and hire the words of babala war to attack them you will not succeed Call their name, get naked in the night to bring them down. Everything you do will backfire. Come on, are we here? 
The Bible says in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon passion against the righteous shall stand nor prosper. Come on, are we here? And he told them, you have nothing to worry. It is too late for me to stop, to stop being who I am. Praise God. I fear God. Come on, someone shout, I fear God. Do me and do you is not Christianity. Do me and do you is stupidity and an expression of loss of identity. If you don't know who you are, you can behave and live like every other person. But if you know who you are, you will be able to know things that you have overcome. How many of you still believe that the, he that is in me is greater than they that are in the world? Come on, someone shout, I fear God. Men and women that fear God don't take vengeance. You know why? Romans chapter 12 know that the Bible says that vengeance belongs to our God. Do you believe that vengeance belongs to God? I pity the enemy that will rise up against you this year. Come on, are we here? When God will start fighting your battle, every altar and every place where you have been discussed and where agents have been hired against you shall be confused. I traveled to my hometown years back with one of my son and the Lord. In the night, we prayed for about two hours in my house. And in the morning, we entered my car. I was using Karina too. And we're driving out from my village. We just returned from mission from Abba. And just in front after the primary school was an old woman on rapper, nothing. And the whole town gathered there and they were asking her who are you she doesn't live in that town who are you she said she's also social person that lives in Ogashoku that he went to panam the motor dropped her by 2 a.m as at 2 a.m we we're taking authority over the air praise god so she couldn't fly over my heaven you need permit to fly over the heavens of nations when God has made you a nation, there's something that cannot cross your heavens. Come on, are we here? When you know God as an east wind, as a west wind, there are some things that cannot cross over your heavens. She was crossing over. And then she couldn't fly. It dropped and turned to human being. Who know you in this town? Nobody. She dropped. The angry mob wanted to kill her. The Lord told me, this case is not your case. Drive out. I left it. But I know what that means. They are still witches. They still operate. Are we here? Guide yourself with the fear of God. Guide yourself with the spirit of the fear of God. When you fear God, witches will fear you. Psalm 27 and verse 2. When the wicked... Even my enemy and my foes gather together to eat up my flesh. What will happen? They'll stumble and they'll fall. Are we here? Some uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 10. For the name of the Lord. Do I have a Bible student in the house? It's what? Shouted like an army. The righteous. And he said. If you want to be saved in 2023 and come under the anointing of safety and the joy the Lord Proverbs 16 verse 7 said when a man when a man pleases the Lord God will make his enemies to be at peace okay and and the Bible says in, in, in Exodus 23 verse 27 and we make your name is terror to your enemies. He you make your name to when your name is mentioned, God's name, your name will manifest. He make it your name to be what? So the spirit of the fear of God is the nature of God. Are we here? It's the character of God in your life. And when you put it on, you avoid everything that will defy God's name. 
I want to tell those of you that are still in habits, habits of whatever it may be, maybe habits of immoralities, fornication, adultery, habits of, of drinking, habits of smoking, whatever habit it is, whatever makes you unworthy before God, please drop it. You might not have too many times. Drop it before it gets too late. God wants to promote you. God wants to take you up. God wants to bring you to a place of glory and a place of honor. Do I have a witness in the house? You are not, you are not responding stronger. If you are too sure of yourself, can I hear you shout amen? amen. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Is the screen working? Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Everything will work for you this year. Come on. Can I hear somebody shout? Everything will work for me this year. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Okay? Look at it there. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and mind, the spirit of knowledge, and what's the last one? The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. The spirit, God is a spirit. But every nature of God is revealed by a component of a spirit. Study it in Job 28. I think Job 28, 28. Are you see there? And unto man he said, can I hear somebody accompany me and read together? Behold, the fear of the lord that is wisdom and to depart from evil is what please read it together if you are bold here yeah? one to go and unto man he said behold the fear of the lord so when you don't have the spirit of fear of god what does god call you foolish It's well explained. When you fear God, God sees you as wise child. Wise child. Somebody have just abused you. Say me. If you abuse me when I abuse you ten. Who are you? Foolish. That man that is talking with you might be going to one altar. His own law permits him to do anything. You. Your own law say, I will fight for you. Keep quiet and watch me handle them. Praise God. Because this year, people might just think they have an advantage over your life and they're just manifesting their nature and their wisdom. They will just faint and fall. Nobody will say that you kill them. Ananias and Sephiroth did not fear God. That was why they came into the house of God to lie. They have money they want to give to God. But they connive to do, to do it in their own way. And right inside the church, they died. If they were wise, they would have explained to the man of God. You know, say, I get this project, I get this project, I get this thing. Uh, so, now this one with it too. There's nothing God can do about it. Come on, are we here? God doesn't like pretense. God doesn't like carnality. Respect God's word. Wives, respect God's word for your husband. And you will go well. Husband, love your wife. Are we here? I know that your wife is a woman. Sometimes when they act like a woman, you start asking questions. What did happen? Praise God. Somebody was asking me two days ago. I said, our mothers sometimes hardly grow up. 
they act like women and the bible say dwell with them according to knowledge according to what humanly you can be provoked but you will remember and you just calm down when two people say not today be today marriage will end though home will come to an end praise god so we have just to understand that it takes the fear of god to dwell in marriage it takes the fear of god to walk and manage difficult customers somebody was giving me a price of something last week he gave me he took it so high i also decided to come so low and they say ah do you know what you are pricing i said do you know what you are giving me the price for praise god because i have prices somewhere so i have made up made up my mind but i need, i just needed an alternative and it came down drastically fear of god is not to take advantage of your customers don't say your market make i just sell i don't hit if you hit today eat today you close the chapter tomorrow you are in a common market are we here it's something that should be above two thousand is sold for ten thousand and the person goes out to see it the same thing the same brand ten thousand if he returned to you he will ask you to give him his money praise god and that will be the last time you will see the person so traders and businessmen in this house sell your market with the fear of the lord you can't respond to this did you hear me check about it i don't bought something for you 2000 i went to the next place they said it's 2005 will i not come back to you are we here will i not tell people about you so people that are poor are poor because they lack the fear of the lord instead of not making my maximum profit let me make small small profit all the time and let me be steady all the time and let me be moving all the time come on are we here come on tell your neighbor behold the fear of god that is wisdom okay i think it's good i'm talking to you like this some of you will become millionaire this year i told you that my father told me if you cannot add to my name don't take anything out of it keep my name listen if you cannot increase don't let anything reduce you are we here all right i think that's enough so if you're not if you don't have the fear of god what happened to you you are foolish that's what they call strategy strategy is taking your competitive advantage if you like call it big grammar today is taking competitive advantage you are in a competitive market everybody is selling almost the same thing everybody is in the market to sell come on are we here what advantage do you have the advantage you have is that they may come to you first come on are we here the advantage is that you have an idea of what others are selling so you take advantage in a manner that whosoever enters your shop even if he go he will return back you are not responding well <laughs> praise god are we, are we here come to a level where you are not making laws and you are not you know over making it but you are steady and moving that's very strategic praise god number two the love of god somebody say the love of god shout it my um john chapter 14 and verse 15 john 14 and 15 look at what it says there john new testament everybody can we read it together can i hear your voice like an army simple 
L L O V E. Love. If you love me, keep my commandment. If you love me, obey my law. If you love me, respect me. Honor me. You can't go far with God if you don't love God. Are we here? And the truth is that if you don't love God, you can't love human being. No human being in every ten people you see, less than let me say two and a half is normal. So ask me how many people are normal in this church. We will not know. Grace is covering everybody here. Let us leave here now. Get to the bus. Before bus stop, you will know those that are normal. Their first encounter with the conductor, you will know. Are we here? In fact, go to the store there to buy something. You will know. Oh, we've done the research. Some of, I hear some people say, my Christianity is not stupidity. And I say to them, until your Christianity becomes stupidity, you will not prove it. Are we here? You, you can't fight for yourself and expect God to fight for you. Exodus 14, verse 14. What does it say? I will fight for you. You hold your peace. Why is the church not learning to hold your peace? To hold your peace is the love of God. The Bible said in Romans 12, if your enemy is hungry, what will you do? Thank God you know it. But how many of you here can feed your enemies? Less than one in ten. Enemy you know that almost dig a piece for you like they did for Joseph. Okay, the brother say, look at him coming. What was he coming to do? He was coming to give them food. And they saw him coming. And they said, look at him. The dreamer is coming. Let us cast him into the pit. Let us kill him. Let us see how, how he will fulfill his dream. And they go there, they took his food, he brought, they ate the food. And they carried him and they put him into the pit. In that pit was wilderness. There was snake. Until Reuben came and said, let us not kill our brother. Let us leave him. But let us sell him. Praise God. That was the sin against Joseph. And that was what they remembered. And they came to Joseph when their father died. Will you forgive us? And the question I asked you before, if you were Joseph, will you forgive? And why did Joseph forgive? Joseph forgave them because Joseph was in the love of God. He knew that it was God that delivered him. Are we here? Are we here? You can get results from impossible corners. The, the problem is until your carnality dies and your spirit man resurrect, your voice cannot be known in heaven. I can never teach you what I don't practice. Over time, in my year as it is something, I can deceive you. If you love God, God will love you. God will take you far. It costs God nothing to defeat all your enemies for your sake. And God can perform any miracle to sustain you. In 2023, receive the spirit of the love of God in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now the Bible said the love of God covers a multitude of errors. Second Corinthians 10. The love of God does not point to accusations. It covers multitude of weaknesses. 
So the love of God is a covering. Are we here? Where some people tell you they think you are too rich. They didn't know it's just the love of God. The love of God is the revelation of the grace of God covering your life. The love of God is the mighty hand of God powering your life. The Bible said they were both naked, but they were not ashamed. The love of God is what keeps you from shame. You know your state and condition. If you have the love of God, you will love your spouse no matter the condition. You will love your husband no matter the condition. You will love your wife no matter the condition. You will love your job no matter the distance. And of course you will love your church. And then you will love your pastor. Praise God. The last one is the spirit of faith. Thomas said the spirit of faith. Did I hear you? The spirit of faith. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9. First Corinthians 12 and verse 9. Somebody said, you don't have to pray for faith. That's not true. Faith is a spirit, so it's a gift of God. Just like love and the spirit of the fear of God. These are threefold gifts of God. So you can pray for them. Come on, are we here? First Corinthians 12. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in witnesses. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glorify in my infirmities that the power of Christ. Is that what I said? First Corinthians, you are giving me second Corinthians. First Corinthians 12 9. I will see, brethren. Praise God. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, what? The gift of healing by the same spirit. You see, the love of God is the foundation for the giftings of God. When you have the love of God, you will believe in spite your circumstances. On the possibilities and reality of God. Are we here? And that God is able to do what he will do. So. God gives gift of faith. For miracles. Miracles are performed by faith. By faith. And I know that by faith. The little in your hand today. Can become a billion. Are we here? Because when you, when you look at things with the eyes of faith, you upgrade their values. Praise God. Now, if you have faith that God is in heaven and you're on the earth, and you talk, God can hear, and God can perform what you say, then of course you have the spirit of faith in you. When you see a mountain that is bigger than you, and you say you mountain, I don't know how you came here, I don't know how long you've been here, I don't know how many people you've hindered here, but my case will be different. The Bible tells me in Isaiah chapter 40 that the valley shall be leveled up. The mountain shall be filled up. I mean the valley shall be filled up. The mountain shall be leveled up. And the crooked path shall be made straight. So I am going straight. The Bible said that they that wait, wait upon the Lord shall what? Shall renew their strength. And the Bible said they shall, they shall run. And they shall not be weary. They shall walk and they shall not be tired. Come on, we're here. So when you treat the word of God, like the word of God, it produces the spirit of God in them. And this year, as you move, you wake up in the morning, you look at your port, everything is looking dry. You speak the word of faith. By the spirit of, of, of faith, I call the thing that be not as though they were. Where my miracle and sustenance is today, I call your thoughts. Come on, I hear. Don't be surprised to see your phone ring. And don't be surprised to see a lot drop him. Because you have spoken in faith. But if you see your poor dry, say, this kind of life when I come save. Are we here? You've already been defeated. And the pot will remain more dry. Come on, are we here? So you speak to your sources of income. If your husband is the one coming, speak to his life. If your wife is the one coming, don't envy her. What a man can do, a woman can do. God bless my wife. Let her return with testimony. Come on, are we here? 
So if, if my wife have money now, I will become very proud. If you become proud, let her become proud for you. Praise God. Give God prayer for your wife. God, prosper my wife. Are we here? You think God is a joker? God is not a joker. When God blesses your wife through your prayer, your wife will know. He will come and his behavior will be different. Because anything that God does comes with the humility of God. Praise God. This year you will see miracles. I didn't hear him. I will stop because the time is spent. I will stop. But I wanted to believe God for the best gift. What are the gifts? The spirit of the fear of God. The love of God. Love human being. Listen, listen. Don't expect anyone to love you when you don't love anyone. Are we here? Love is a seed. When you sow it, it grows harvest. Love people the way they are. You are not their creator. Don't try to change them above the level of grace. Love them, pray for them, and allow God to come into them and change them. Our church will grow. Our homes will grow. Everything around us will change. Come on, are we here? Receive the spirit of the fear of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. Can I hear someone I receive it in Jesus' name? The love of God covers multitude of errors. The love of God is a covering. Are we here? God doesn't allow human beings to treat you the way you know something happened i was managing something with my brother and all i just i just told my wife i said god just came into this thing when god comes into your life everything that looks small will become big are we here i was looking at my size i was looking at what i want to do i was looking at how small it is i wake up and i came back home one day and i told my wife this is what i'm going to do he said how I said, the Lord had just told me what to do. Because the big God is a specialist in doing big things. Stop looking at yourself as, you know, I am just unfortunate. By grace, there's nothing like unfortunate. Can I hear someone? All things are possible to him that believes. Can I hear someone say, I am a believer. I am in the love of God. Because I'm in the love of God, all things are possible for me. The kind of breakthrough I never had in my life in 2023, I am gonna have it. I'll speak it. The more you speak it, the more you become it. Praise God. Are we here? I went to the US last year, I, it was not in my plan because they were not giving visa and there's no appointment i was on my way to mission doing what god wants me to do at the airport my phone rang where are you i'm on my way to uganda it's okay when you come from uganda see me i came back from uganda i went there he said what of your visa i said i don't have he said where's your passport i said i have the data page he said bring it Two weeks later, they called me. Come for your visa. How it was paid, what happened, it was a drop off. Praise God. Because I am on my way to my assignment. I was talking to pastors last week. We pastors can't come to church once in a week. It's not possible. Let's stay on our assignment. God may not give us the dollar and money, but if we do what He asks us to do, He knows what we do. Are we here? Yes, sir. When God starts you all by grace, it will turn out to be the best. That trip was the best trip I ever attended. Come on, are we here? In 2023, by supernatural engagement, you will go to places no one has ever gone to in your family. 
you will do what no man has ever done in your generation the things that are impossible around you shall become possible the mighty power of god shall rise up for your family someone shall i am in the love of god i shall manipulate the miracle powers of god i shall enjoy the healing powers of god in the name of jesus rise to your feet faith calling the thing that be not as though they were is that not what what the bible say faith do what those of you who are single who have no husband knocking on your door yet if i were you i'll be rehearsing on my wedding day come away here faith call it the thing that be not as though they were come on out here i told a young man is of age he's not married and i asked him why are you not married he said apostle you won't understand i said okay on your wedding day i will buy you this the i will buy you the coat praise god he brought out his paper apostle say we buy me coat on my wedding day and somebody was with us and the person said and i will buy the shoe and somebody said so what are you waiting for he said no woman i said no woman should we fight praise god listen until you take a move god will move nobody come on over here if you can put on the spirit of the fear of god put on the love of god put on faith the right people will come come on out here because nobody wants to marry a problem that barrier shall be put down every barrier troubling your life the lord shall trouble everything in you and around you that looks like a trouble the lord shall bring it down all you may come out from that place how can you be rich where you are manifest yourself here if you be men all of you come this way come here occupy this three seat can you run even the one that wear naked country when we are wearing naked conscious if you are worthy come and sit in the front the word of god is looking for where to enter you are hiding how can i be hiding and receiving the word of god let's know that you are here come and lift up your hands to heaven and god said to the king joseph art you shall not see wind you shall not see rain but the value of your assignment shall be filled with water it's not about what you fear it's not about what you know it is about you are standing in the covenant today as you stand in the covenant i prophesy you shall not see wind you shall not see red but your life shall be full of blessings in the name of jesus you shall not see wind you shall not see red but your life shall be full of answers your life shall be full of connection your business shall be full of connection your destiny shall be full of connection your life shall be full of connection in the name of jesus everything that have risen up because they lack the fear of god and they said the assignment is to bring you down i prophesy whatsoever god has not appointed no aside open that gets you that are risen up to bring your destiny and your life down by the name of the lord jesus right this way they shall go down for yourself In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Behold, 
the fear. The spirit of the fear of God. That the immunity of the spirit. The courage. When God was talking to Joshua, he was saying to Joshua, be courageous and be very courageous. God is the one sending you. So God is packing you up. Everywhere you go, God is there. Where there's no road, God will push down the wall, the barriers. You remember that Paul and Silas were in the prison? Are we here? And nobody to help nor intervene. But because they were carrying God in the inside of them, God can only come to where he is. You can't carry God like Joseph. And God will not come to where you are. Every believer carrying the Holy Ghost is a, is a, is a mobile altar. Come on, are we here? When they try to attack you in the night, God in you will wake up. Say, I'm here. So what can you do here now? Praise God. They said, okay, we will kill you by accident. On the road, God will come like a mighty, terrible God. And he will show a sign. Listen to me today. By the mighty power of God. Every area of your life that appear conclusive that nothing is going to work out by power of the spirit of the fear of God, I declare that the Lord shall manifest Himself. The Lord shall manifest Himself in the life of your children. The Lord shall manifest Himself in your family. The Lord shall manifest Himself. If you are busy, the Lord shall manifest and sir. If you are held, the Lord shall manifest and sir. Somebody shout, Lord, manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. In my house, in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. I close. Lift up your hands. You know, Isaac remains my example. Isaac was going to go like every other person. Sometimes many of you will be in a good church where God is doing so many miracles. And you, will, you allow yourself to be walking up and down. And in the course of time, you walk out of God. You just see yourself walk out of God. You walk out of the covenant. And then you drop. God waits for you where you are waiting for him. Make inquiry from God before you take your emotional decisions. Isaac, ask God, everybody's moving, should I move? And God said, stay where you are and I will be with you. The only thing he needed to know is that God will be with him where he is. Face the altar. God will do what? God will be with you where you are. And the Bible says, and God said to him, I have a covenant with your father that has not expired. And the covenant has been willed to your life. So you will be better than your father. I know my father lived a good life. And I know he worked so hard. And I know he made a lot of sacrifice for my time to be where it is. So sometimes I remember his good works. And I said, Lord, by your grace, I will be greater than my father. Come on, are we here? You have to connect yourself to grace. And the Bible said, that same season, God made him, God inspired him to engage his hand. No rain, no dew, no wind, no river. But Isaac sold hard. He started, he became a, a you know, a, a, a poetry, you know, um, harder. And then he also has some investment on cash crops. In that same year, Isaac had a hundredfold. And the Bible says, suddenly the people around him saw that Isaac started making money. That is how your life will be. By March, they will see you counting money. Amen. Pastor Dr. Mary is not here. Why he was not working, I remember that if you give him one naira, he will 
take away the tight we keep it every sunday will come out it's not the quantity it's the culture the culture and from there he's she find favor before god to do what she's doing now have a culture lord if you can bless me every week i will appear before you every week the philippians saw that they began to make money in a dry time and that he continued to make money in a dry time and that he became wealthy and the bible said they envied him if i am on to this morning for enviable prosperity or what i call dominion prosperity it's a kind of prosperity that no demon or witch can take away from you no matter how they fight it they cannot do anything about it receive anointing of enviable prosperity in the name of jesus i call it isaac's anointed anointing that blesses you where god has appointed for you in 2023 receive isaac's anointed receive anointing for wealth anointing for wealth anointing for wealth your hand shall be engaged your ability shall be engaged your business shall prosper whatever you do shall prosper and where you go you shall prosper the lord shall shine the face upon you in the name of jesus and finally like a consuming fire whatsoever is working against the will of god for your life attacking your health shall come under the attack of this altar receive the anointing of consuming fire of god upon your spirit upon your bone upon your body upon your heart upon your power receive the oil the power of the fire of god on your life let the lord become a consuming fire upon your life come on lift your hands to heavens blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord we're taking your time but it's good lord and dominion prosperity Amen. i know that those of you that are having old naira you are afraid to come and bring it in the altar in fact if you don't know how to take it to the bank bring it drop everything in the altar Amen. praise god Hallelujah. you have been so quiet today hallelujah you see what i'm telling you that's great you know this man is a finance man he said that the dead line have been increased to 10 days. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's the answer. I cannot do it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, just be the spirit. Be the spirit. I, I believe God I want to anoint you today. God wants to kill you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. And shout out a coast. Manifest your power. Amen. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Oh, 
omnipotent God manifests itself. Omnipotent God manifest yourself today. Manifest your, manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Omnipotent God manifest yourself today. Omnipotent God, manifest yourself today. Manifest your power. 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 Omnipotent God, manifest yourself today. Omnipotent God, manifest yourself today. Fill this house with your presence. Fill my life with your spirit. Omnipotent God, manifest yourself. Manifest your power, omnipotent God. Manifest yourself today. Manifest your power. Manifest your power, omnipotent God. Manifest yourself today. Omnipotent God. Manifest yourself today. But now what Barbara is turning things around. Oh no, what Barbara is turning things around. Yeah. Oh no, what Barbara is turning things around for my good. I worship you, hey. I worship you. You are here, hey. touching every soul. Jesus, we worship you, hey. we worship you. 
We said you are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. Touching every life. Touching every life. I worship, I worship you. you. I worship you. You are here. You are here. Blessing every life. Blessing every life. I worship you. I worship you. We call you when we make a miracle, yes, you are promise keep light in the darkness, my God, God is who you are. You are, 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 you the broken hearted you are the answer to it all Jesus you wipe away all tears ah, you mend the broken heart you are the answer to it all to it all Jesus Miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God is who you are. Who you are to be God. We make a miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God is who you are. Are you ready to sing in the Holy Ghost? Like 
to shine. Cause they light to shine from the Cause you are brooding, brooding over every dark. Yes, you are causing light to shine. Cause light to shine from darkness. Let your power flow in this place. Yes, your healing is here. Hey, in this place, we call for signs and wonders. Hey, in this place, let your presence show. In this, let your power flow. Let your power flow. Say in this place, let your healing come. Let your healing come. Holy, holy, holy ghost. In this place, call for signs and wonders. Call for signs and wonders. In this place, God. In this place, let your presence show. Let your presence show. In this place, call him anointing, anointing, anointing for me. I see, oh, 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 just like the days when power parts the sea. Your power, your power remains the same. Never change, yes, it never change. Fiat Arara, Fiat Arara, Fiat Arara, Fiat Arara, Baba, I adore you. Hele to marry, hele to marry. I depend, I depend on you. Abani la batoba, your covenant, your covenant is sure. Yes, he never changes. Fia bara reho, fia bara reho, fia bara reho. Fia yeko kuba ba, fia bara reho. Your power remains the same. 
Yes, he never changed. He a parallel. Parallel. He a parallel. He a parallel. Unyamba, unyamba. Emmanuel, my comforter. Yeah. And then my redeemer. Yeah. Emmanuel, my protector. Yeah. You are in my signs of wonder. Yeah. I can't lie at all. You are the God of awesome one. They stand of your powers. Yeah. You have shown me so much mercy. But more than I deserve. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard the wonders of your creation. Creations bow in all of you as we join to give you praise. Oh, that was your speak. Jesus, sun is around your outstretch. I believe you took away, you took away, you took yeah. away. my sins. I trace and cast hey. and held me back. Yeah. Oh, this shed, oh, this shed, he had Iyanu, you are the God of all so wonders. I've tasted of your power, Jesus. Onisha, oh, Onisha, Iyanu, you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. They will say, Oh. Juku no so, 
Kokine Bosoki, Imano Tia Tiki de Wande Bo Chide Seke Nichaya Dile Chupati Katwasi Oka Dile Tese Wande Bo Chide Seke I know you've been hurt, and you're not stand. I know you've been broken, when it's okay. I know you've been here, but I'm here. Two men broken hearts, don't believe God is here. You'll be overcome today. Wipe your tears and give him all the praise. Yebezina, chupu na so, hagi mo so hagi, imadi ya di di de. Iko chere wande mo, wise ike, chicha ya di de, chupa di katwasi, haga di we kemba. I understand, I have been here, I know you've been broken, well it's okay, I love your real hearts, but I'm here, to mend a broken heart, believe in him, you will overcome, yesterday will be a story, I'm the God of all flesh, nothing is too hard for you to do, yeah, don't you believe, I understand, don't you believe, I know you've been hurt, but I'm here to mend a broken heart. Believe in Him, you will overcome. Yesterday will be a story. I'm the God of all flesh. Not in this two hearts for you to do here. Yeah. Don't you believe I can do see? Don't you believe I is the dead? Don't you believe I came to die? Don't you believe I'm forever? Don't you believe? 